Okay, so here we have a Kennedy 12 draw toolbox. We got some stuff up top here. We have a dial indicator made in Japan. Sag Saginomia, Saginomia. Don't ask me. I don't know how to pronounce that. Actually, pretty, pretty nice looking indicator. Very smooth. Um, the only thing we got is a little, little scratch in the crystal right there. But uh, other than that, it works pretty nice. We have a box full of random stuff. Uh, these look like indicator holders, you know, it's definitely indicator holders, and these look like gauges of some sort. Yeah. Yep, I'm pretty sure that's what those are. I'm pretty sure those are gauges. I don't think they're, um... Yeah, because they're numbered. So I, I I don't think that they're I don't think they're dowel pins. I think they're gauges. I'll have to mic them up and look. They're probably a certain you know size. Again, everything in this toolbox isn't mine. Um, or, or most stuff in this toolbox isn't mine. This is the toolbox that I had got from um, a family member who passed away. Kennedy catalog toolboxes. Just tear off and keep this portion. This is for. Nameplate. Oh, you can order a nameplate from Kennedy. There you go. Three lines of wording for nameplate. $2 to, for engraving or <laughs> $1 for, to stamp. I wonder how old that is. These are... I think these are the dividers. Yep. Yep. These are the dividers for the drawers. Mirror for picking things out of your eyeball. Drill and tap gauge, uh, or drill and tap chart. Kennedy catalog. See how much these things cost. 525 a can for some touch up paint. Drawer liner, six fifty a roll. Machinist chest cover, six seventy five or eight twenty five. Doesn't have the prices for the uh, for the actual chests. Um, old old. Ames indicator graduated in half uh, in um, yeah it's graduating five five ten thousandths of an inch is what that graduation is it's old it's small it doesn't have that much throw but it's still smooth um, if I need something a little bit more accurate than a regular uh, thousandths reading indicator I will use this there's a stare at button back this I believe is, yeah, it makes C. This is the long stem indicator. This indicator I use for um, putting in that that holder I had made for the lathe. It has a, a long throw on it. So it makes it good for indicating the carriage. Plus it has a real, real long stem on it. So I can fit it and move it around without having to unclamp the uh, the, the the actual bed clamp and move move it around. Um, so that's what I, that's why I use this for. 
if I need to. A lot of times I don't. A lot of times actual length, length reading on the carriage doesn't uh, matter, at least for me. Um, but I have used it in a couple of videos where that was relevant, so that's what that's for. This is an old, old, old Starrett Def mic, I believe. Yep, Starrett Def mic. Uh, the this is graduated in, I believe, thousandths of an inch. Yep, and it has all the rods. There's the actual number. I have no idea what is in this box. I don't think I've ever opened it. That is a... It's a surface gauge. Here's some of the scrubs and lines. Here's another rod, a longer rod. And here are the clamps. And another clamp. Yep, those pegs are still nice and loose. The fine adjust. In good shape. Actually, that almost looks like it's never been used. That is a, what brand is this? Doesn't have a brand name on it. I don't see a brand name. It's a dial indicator point set to exchange different points for different things. We got, uh, here's a, I know it's kind of hard to see, but here's a bent one. Um, there's a pointy one. All different kinds. This is a, looks like small parallels. Yep. Small set of parallels from a uh, half inch to three quarter inch, I believe, or does it have a one inch? Uh, to seven eighths. Half inch to seven eighths. Again, no, um, it says made in USA, but no brand name on it. It's a set of Minotoyo telescoping gauges. Still nice and springy. This here is a, it says Fowler on the box, oh, center finder, that's what that is, with all the different arms and attachments here, there's a bent one, this is another center finder. This is the regular, the spring ones. It has the point on the end, and then quarter inch on the other side. It's made by General. Mini in the call. 
This is for um, trimming mill vices and whatnot. Indicator goes on the end in the holder. This you can hold in the, in a collet or the chuck, and you can spin it around for that. Uh, some of the other ones have the actual clamp that goes around the spindle itself, um, but this one takes it's like a quarter inch rod on the end, which you can hold in a collet of some sort. So this is Fowler Verdict. This is uh, a uh, dial test indicator. Graduated in um, half thousands. Still nice and springy, still works. It's got the little reverse and lever on the side. Push or pull. It's a little bit of a change when you switch it. It still works. Got the uh, hold of for it and the stem does not oh no yeah it does it does have a dovetail on the bottom of it. It's a Mitotoyo um, dial test indicator. Graduated in half thousandths again. A lot bigger dial on that. Still works really nice. Has uh, dovetails here, here and here. Also has all the accessories for it. Here's a holder here. Um, here's one that screws into the dovetail, allow you to use it with an eight, eighth inch rod. Another one that screws into the dovetail, allow you to use it with a quarter inch rod. There's another one that screws into the dovetail, allow you to use it with something bigger. So, and then uh, it screws into the dovetail also, but it's adjustable. And then a straight rod in there. So that has all the accessories with it. This one here, same thing, dial test indicator. This is SPI, again, graduated in half thousands. Kind of pretty much a clone of the Mitotoyo. Here we have small square. Audra square. And what does it say? More in right, Sheffield, England. This one says ZNP Rava, Poland. This is a Fowler made in India. These are all machine squares. And like a depth ruler and angle finder. Protractor made by General. Another fish made by General. A couple of calipers. Craftsman and Atlas Tools. Springs are still really strong in them. They're not gummed up. They work pretty well. Uh, another digital Mitotoyo. Um, I had bought this one, it's graduated in um, ten thousandths of an inch. I don't know if you can. Battery's slight, it, it works, bad, but the battery looks a little weak. Um, I mean, you can see it moving there. That display definitely could be brighter. And it does have the friction thimble on it. I just had to change out the uh, card on the camera. Um, we have here is a Brown and Sharp uh, six-inch dial indicator um, in the wooden box. These are the Swiss-made ones. I'm not sure if the new ones still are or not. Now, I never got these 
Um, the, these were a set that were given to me. Uh, I never bought these. I saw them online. I never bought them because they were a little more expensive. Plus, the one thing I, I, I didn't like about them, at least from looking at them, was it doesn't have that little friction knob wheel on the bottom. Um, I have a set of uh, Mitutoyos in here, which I'll show you later on. Um, and these feel much better than those. Not having that wheel doesn't make any difference. But these, these slide a lot smoother and um, they feel a lot better in my hand. I, I, li I like these a lot. I like these a lot. I like to use these now now that I have this set. I like to use these for the actual measure and the mitutoyos and stuff. I, I use a lot for the scribing and stuff like that. But like I said, I like these a lot better. So another wooden box here. It's a depth mic. And uh, this is also graduated in thousands. It's a little bit smaller, physically smaller than the Starrett one, and this is uh, made by Craftsman. Last draw. This is the Mitsutoyo one, and uh, this is one of the uh, Japanese ones that are made in Japan. The new ones, I'm almost positive, are not made in Japan. And uh, like I said, they, they work. They work great, and they're really they're, they're nice and smooth. But um, I do like the brown and sharp ones, just a little bit better feel on the hand um, than these ones. But again, good quality pair of. Um, calipers here. This is a two inch mic. It's got a friction thimble on it. Graduated in ten thousandths of an inch. Um, let's see what the name of this is on it. If there is a name on this, I don't see a name on this. Got a slip in here. Thank you for your purchase. 430 1988. 27.75. Similar to the other one here. Yeah, it's the same thing. It's just bigger. It's three inch. So graduating ten thousand seven inch. Maybe I can read the name on this one. Made in Poland. Is that V Viz V V I V I S? I don't know. That is right there. It's probably what the other one is too. Another one, same thing. Same thing. No, I'm lying. Even though the paint, the paint is worn off of this, but I can tell that says Mitutoyo on it. Doesn't does not say it on the barrel. Definitely does not say it on the barrel. This is graduated in ten thousandths of an inch. Um, Another two inch with a ratchet thimble. But it's definitely Mitutoyo. Again, it doesn't say it on the box here, but that I can just tell by the style of writing. I don't know if it shows up. I can tell by that M that that's their, their name. Calibrated 6805, due 6506. And here's the last one here. 
This is can't read what it says on the box, but it says something. Something Switzerland something. It's a brown and sharp one inch mic. Um Yep, we got a friction thimble on there. And this one is yeah, graduated in ten thousandths of an inch. The lock still works. I do, I do like, I do like these. These are a lot smaller than, say, some of the other, um, you know, one-inch mics that are here. Um, pull out, yeah, especially compared to these, these digitals here. I mean, this is this is way lighter than than this thing. This is this is a bit bulky. As far as size, uh, that that's that's comfortable. That's very comfortable in the hand too. Very comfortable in the hand. I like this one. And I uh, like the the Starrett one inch ones. It has actual conversions right on there. Conversions from um, the uh, fractional uh, measurements into decimals. So you got four say sixteenths, thirty seconds, and sixty fourths, and those are all conversions right on there directly into uh, into decimals. pretty much it. Now, um, like I said, these were pretty much gathered um, for over, you know, four years or so. Um, the first two things I did bought or did buy that I actually bought for myself are actually, actually most of them are in this box. Um, I bought This one, this one, and the uh, last word indicator I got off of eBay in a lot. This Mitutoyo and this Mitutoyo Digital were the three thing, uh, one inch micrometer, or any one inch micrometer. Um, those were kind of the, the three things that I bought that were. Um, Pretty much invaluable. Uh, out of all of them, the thing that got definitely got the most use was this um, uh, dial caliper, and uh, the indicators came in handy and all before I got the buck and only had the four jaw chuck um, to indicate. So that eventually, uh, we'll kind of, I'm going to kind of touch upon, you know, um, for people that are are, are just beginning. You know, some what what I think, and again, it's just my opinion. What I think your first um, actual tool buys should be, um, and uh, we'll make a video video on that. So, pretty much, that's it for this video, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. If I can latch that, there you go.